Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question total cost to hire care workers. So let me summarize uh, this description. So this solution calls solve the problem of hiring workers with the lowest cost according to certain rules. So you are given an array of costs for each worker and, and uh, the goal is to hire exact care workers. The hiring process involves running a care session, in this case three, and uh, selected one worker in each session. So in each session, the worker with the lowest cost is chosen from either the first, uh, the first candidate's workers or the last candidate workers. So candidate is four. So we have to choose one of um, workers from first four candidates or from last four candidates. And uh, if um, they are tied in the cost, and the worker with the smallest index is selected. So we can find the cost like two and two. So in this case, smaller index is chosen in this case. So this left two, right? And then um, if uh, there are fewer than candidates, uh, work, candidates worker remaining, um, the worker with the lowest cost among them is chosen. So each worker can only be chosen once. The solution code calculates the returns the total cost of hiring exact K workers based on uh, these rules. So yeah, let's see the example. So as I explained earlier, so this is a uh, cost input array and uh, we will have a three session and the candidates is four. So that means we have to choose one of the candidates from first four or uh, from last four candidates. So in this case, um, so description said lowest cost is two, uh, but uh, there is a two, 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 two cost. So that means um, first, so smaller index number is chosen. So first of all, we choose this two. And uh, so now total cost is two, right? And then, so after we choose one of coworker, uh, one of our workers, so this worker remove from uh, first four candidates and uh, add seven to, um, in this case, first candidate. And then next, um, so we will find a smaller candidate cost and uh, we find a two. So take this worker and then total is now, so two plus two and four. And then, um, so we have to hire three people. So one more people and the uh, smallest cost is seven, right? So that's why i um, take uh, this worker from candidates. And then total should be two plus two plus seven and the uh, total 11. So that's why we should return 11 in this case. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So I arrange a uh, number a little bit and uh, k equals three, so we will have a three session, and uh, yeah, the ca candidate is two. So that means we have to pick uh, one of workers uh, from first two and the uh, last two. So to solve this question, I use a heap. So heap is very useful to take uh, like a minimum number from um, heap. So first of all, I put these four number into heap. So now, Heap has like a 2, 17, 20, 21, 22, and 8. So in Python, um, basically heap is min heap, so always a uh, root number or top number is uh, smallest in the heap. So all we have to do is just uh, take a, a root number so that we can get a, a minimum cost uh, always. And then, um, but the uh, problem is uh, we so first session is fine, but uh, next we have to add new candidate um, to left side or right side. But uh, um, so in the heap, so we have only uh, each value, so we don't know. Uh, so these two, uh, these two comes from like a left side or right side. So to solve that question, uh, uh, that problem. Um, so we add each value with 
like a direction. So direction is like a, you can put any number or any character. So let's say, um, so for me, uh, I put a zero for left side and a one is a right side. So that means, so if we put these two, so also um, this two has zero and uh, like a tuple. So 17 also has zero. And then 20 has, let's say one. Eight has all, uh, also one. So that we can know, so this eight is uh, coming from right side and uh, this two is coming from left side. Yeah, it's easy. And then um, after uh, we put the uh, um, candidates, all candidates in heap, and then just uh, take a minimum number, in this case two. So pick two, and then so we prepare like a result variable and initialized with zero. And uh, sorry, uh, before we take a, a minimum number, so we need uh, one more um, things, so like a two pointers. So so this pointer pointing the like a next candidate. So so we put uh, these two uh, these two numbers and these two numbers. So next candidate should be here, and then <coughs> here. So this left uh, initialized with just a uh, candidate numbers, right? So two. So this index number is zero, one, two, right? So easy. And how about the right number? Right number is uh, like a, a length of input array minus um, candidates minus one, right? Because uh, this is a zero um, zero indexed integer, so that's why um, so zero one two three four five six seven eight. So there is a eight um, number. So uh, not eight number actually nine number and uh, minus two and the seven and the uh, so this index number starts from zero so minus one and th this should be six right zero one two three four five six yeah so so i initialize right pointer like that like a length of cost minus candidate minus one and then um after that so we put the smallest number in heap and then first of all um, in this case plus two and then so we know that zero is uh, for left side so that's why um, so we don't need this two anymore and then so this seven will be one of the candidates like this and then so i put the seven into um, heap so this two will change to seven and uh, this seven also coming from left, so we add zero with seven. And then um, again, uh, take a minimum number, in this case seven, and uh, take seven, add seven to result variable, so that should be nine. And then, so we find a zero, so which means this seven comes from left side. So, oh, oh by the way, I, I forgot to update the left number here, our left pointer here. And then um, remove this seven and uh, add 12 to this uh, heap. So 12 and with zero. And then next, so smallest number should be eight. So take eight from heap and add eight to result variable. So seven, uh, seven 17. And then, uh, so this one, it comes from uh, right side, right? So that's why add 11 to heap. So add 11. And then, so we already have a three session. So that's why in this case, output is 17. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a heap with empty list and uh, we add candidates from left side so for i in range and uh, candidates and uh, heap q dot heap push and uh, heap and 
So we use tuple and the uh, cost current index number. And uh, so this number comes from our left side. So I put cell here. And uh, for right side, for i in range, so this is a little bit complicated. So max and uh, candidates or length of costs minus candidates to length of cost. So let me explain this part. So let's think about uh, so uh, cost is like a okay three five um, two seven four and uh, can take equal three. So in the case um, so in the first loop we uh, we put uh, we add a three candidate from left side so three seven uh, three five two right so so um, and the two candidates are left but the uh, candidate is three so in this case so there is no uh, three candidate from right side so in this case um, we take a like a candidate number so that we can uh, access this seven right so zero one two three right so that's why um we can um we can add a rest of candidate to the heap so this range start from index three to length of cost so that's why um so we have to uh, consider uh, this kind of case and uh, if we have plenty of candidates like uh, four six three two something like that so uh, we will take uh, this formula length of the candidate so so far for the first uh, loop uh, we put these three candidate to heap and the second loop will uh, put the last three candidate to heap so in this case uh, we will take uh, this formula yeah so that's why we have to compare like uh, two case and then so heap q dot heap push and uh, heap and the uh, cost and the current index number and uh, this time i put one so one stands for from uh, right side and then um, initialized uh, so result initialized with zero and the uh, left pointer should be candidates and the uh, right point uh, should be as I explained earlier length cost minus candidates minus one so because the uh, index starts from zero so we need to subtract minus one and then start loop looping for underscore in range so we need to hire k people and then first of all uh, take a minimum number from um, heap so mean cost and uh, let's say uh, direction uh, equal heap q dot heap op and uh, heap first of all uh, add minimum cost to result variable so mean cost after that if left pointer less than or equal right pointer so the reason why I use the less than or equal is that there is a case where candidate number of candidate is um, odd. So that's why. And then after that, um, if the um, if direction equals zero, in that case um, we. Add, we should add new candidate from left side so heap q dot heap push and a heap and a tuple costs and a left pointer and a zero right and then don't forget to move left pointer to next so plus equal one and else so heap q dot heap push and uh, heap 
and uh, to boot so cost and uh, this time right side so that should be one and then don't forget update um, right pointer so in this case um, so minus equals one and then after that just return result variable yeah so that's it so let me submit it looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of n plus k multiply log n so where n is the length of cost and k comes from uh, input number k so that's because for the first two loop uh, in the worst case we have to put all cost into the heap so heap push operation should be log n and uh, we execute n time so uh, that's why order of n log n and plus and uh, this um, hiring operation so we pop uh, the minimum cost and then um, push another uh, candidate cost so heap pop should be 01 but the uh, heap push is log n and uh, we execute k time so k log n i think and then so that's why um, time complexity should be uh, n order of n plus k multiplied log n and the space complexity is uh, on so where n is the length of cost so in the end we have to put all costs into heap so that's why on yeah that's all i have for you today so if you like it please subscribe to the channel hit the like button or leave a comment i'll see you in the next question